My name is Daniel Puro and I play the violin. My father is an incredible illustrator and my mother is a contemporary artist and painter. And these are two very important people for me in my musical life, in the way I approach sound and the way I feel free. At the age of four, I was given my first violin, a complete chance encounter, and I became completely obsessed with it. And it became very much, I'd say, my voice, my way of expressing myself. It's an amazing instrument, this small object which can produce such a variety of sounds, verging from incredibly beautiful to esoteric and strange, air sounds, percussive sounds. And these things always interested me, the improvisatory approach to learning an instrument. A piece I'm really fascinated by at the moment is a Brahms Violin Concerto, which is, I think, the first piece I can remember being fixated on growing up. It's a work that seems to have a little bit of everything, particularly the extremes of emotion in it, this triumphant feeling and exquisite sweetness and joy and beauty. But the beauty in it is never saccharine. It always has this remarkable poise and fantasy within it. I've always felt that all these creative disciplines feed into my playing, particularly when I go to watch dance, for example, working with dancers, as I've been doing recently, working with authors and musicians who come from a very different world sonically to the way I trained. I think these are the things that really raise my playing and rejig this fascination, this almost this childlike fascination I have with the violin. One example being my work with the amazing children's author, Michael Morpurgo, who's written two books that I've adapted music for. And Michael is a very interesting collaborator for me because I've always found that reading books, real fiction that allows you to live lives of other people, that is the thing that really makes me feel like I can find new depths to what I look for in the classical repertoire. Another collaborator of mine who I love dearly and I hope this is a trajectory we just keep going on is Johnny Greenwood, who I met when I used to lead the London Contemporary Orchestra and we collaborated on some film scores together. Johnny recently wrote Horror Vacui, a violin concerto for me that I performed at this year's proms. He is a real example to me of friendship in music that becomes something else as you work because there was never any necessity for us to keep working together, we just wanted to. Another person who's influenced and helped me greatly is Valgir Sigurdsson, who runs the record label that I released my album Dust on, Bedroom Community. He's a very interesting gifted, insightful Icelandic musician, a producer and composer. And we've created different sounds together, exploring something to me that's really important is the way acoustic sound and electronics can work together. I love creating from nothing in tandem with somebody else with their thought process, rather than responding, for example. I look for outliers or people who are completely devoted to what they do, like they can't survive without doing it. That's for me incredibly interesting. In fact, I've been very much more drawn to working with people who do other things than I do because of the newness of the process that interests me.